Well, Peter Haygarth is a wildlife photographer and one of the nominees for this prestigious award. He joins us now live. Thanks so much for speaking to us and congratulations. First of all, tell us about your image, where you took it and how you got that. Okay, I, uh, I took the image in South Africa in uh, KwaZulu-Natal, um, which is um, on the eastern side of South Africa. Um, I was there at a Zamanga private game reserve. Um, we set off early in the morning. Uh, we followed a pack of wild dogs that were out hunting. And um, the dogs initially came across a warthog, chased it around a bit. The warthog went down a hole. And so they set off on the hunt again and just by chance came across uh, this lone male cheetah. Um, first of all, they started to get a little bit inquisitive with the cheetah. Um, and then as they gathered in numbers, there were about 12 of them in total. Uh, they get, got a little bit braver and started moving in and the cheetah uh, obviously started feeling threatened at that point and started putting up a little bit of a fight. Uh, once it realized it was outnumbered, uh, the cheetah ran away. But um, before that happened, right. I managed to capture quite a few side. photographs. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. it really does. Wildlife photography takes tremendous patience. I mean, how many times do you have to click uh, that shutter to get that one image? Oh, a huge amount of times. You know, on a typical trip to Africa, I might take uh, 15,000 photographs, you know, and if you get five or six good ones out of that, it's been a successful trip. So, yeah, right. a lot of photographs. Does it make you miss the days of film at all when you had to be a little more particular and choosy? Uh, it's, it's a very good question. Yeah, I, I, I did start back in the days of film, but um, yeah, you had to be very selective back then. And I, I think the uh, digital has probably made photography or the, the results of photography a lot better now because it does allow you to uh, rattle off a lot of pictures and, and, you know, fingers crossed, you do get that special one. But for better or worse, do you think it, 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 I mean, it democratizes photography in many ways. Everyone's kind of able to give it a shot uh, with digital technology. I mean, how, what does that mean for a professional photographer like yourself to have everybody out there with a, with a phone or with, you know, at least a basic camera that can get high quality images and then you have to go up against 50,000 other professional amateur entries uh, when you go into a competition like this? Well, I think it just opens up photography to everybody. I mean, I teach photography, so I enjoy, you know, I enjoy looking at other people's work and I enjoy en encouraging other people to take those great photographs as much as I enjoy taking my own pictures. So, so to me, digital has kind of opened it up to a lot more people. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm still inspired by amateur and professional photographers work alike. As for wildlife photography, though, I mean, we've been showing some of the images of the other uh, 14 nominees. You're number you're one of the 15 in total. Um, a lot of them, I have to say, they show the beauty, but they also really show the cruelty uh, of nature. Is that what you think really represents the truth there on the ground when you go through you know, KwaZulu-Natal, as you were, for example, and we see other marine images of animals being hunted. Is that, part, the, that cruelty is part of the beaut beauty to you, is it not? Uh, yeah, again, that's an interesting question, but, uh, you know, there's, there's so much happening in the world, you know, stuff that we do see and stuff that we don't see. Uh, it, it is a pretty cruel world out there, you know, and uh, the wildlife has a pretty tough time. Um, but just by taking the photographs, making people aware of it, um, it hopefully it'll it'll make the world pull together and try and do something about it. We've seen what uh, the Blue Planet did with the, the you know the photographs of plastic bottles in the water and how that's already trying to change the world. So I think it's a good thing to make people aware of what's going on out there. Okay, Peter Hagarth, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks so much for joining us on TRT World. We appreciate it.